I hope you're having a beautiful day. As always, it is time for the monthly empties. Mom, mom, mom. And really, this is like two months of monthly empties. And I kind of went through um, some items and did a little declutter and then did a little swap with a friend and hung up my nail polish rack on the wall, which, hang on. There is two racks worth of nail polish. Um, I know I've had so many people say, Melissa, do a makeup collection, do a makeup collection. Oh, biscuits stuck. Do a makeup collection. We want to see your makeup collection. <sighs> I will get there. I will get there. My sister is going to be in town by the time this video is posted. Um, so I'm like going through things and organizing stuff and um, I just put up all that nail polish and there's still more nail polish. So I have one of those containers, actually that yellow one on the bottom right down there that you can't really see is also full of nail polish. It didn't all fit on two racks, which each hold a hundred nail polishes. <sighs> what is my life? And I gave away some nail polishes the other day too. I can't, I can't win for losing. Anyway. Um, so this is kind of a combo of like, I came across some stuff that was old, I used products up, they were, you know, not good anymore, whatever. Um, so, here is the Benefit Air Patrol um, eyeshadow primer. I used this sample up many, many, many days. Um, I actually really liked it. I would buy this if I was in the need for an eyeshadow primer. I really did enjoy this from Benefit. I have this Wet n Wild Mega Rocks Collection nail polish in Creative Control. It was a really pretty sparkle nail polish, but in one of the boxes, just over time, like I can't even get it open, it just dried out. So not good, not good anymore. It was very pretty. Um, then I have a Sachet Vite, and I use Sachet Vite almost every single time I do my nails, and I just took my polish off today because I was going to repolish them again later. And um, this is a fast dry top coat, and this is one that just got neglected. It got very well loved. You can see it's like super colorful, but you can also see I went to go take off the lid, and the brush came off inside, and I mean, it's just solid. So. Um, if you've ever used Seche Vite, there is a product called Seche Restore, which sort of puts the, you know, nasty, wasty chemicals back in it that makes it dry out so quickly. Um, you know, it dries out quickly on your hands, but it also will dry out in the bottle over time, sadly. So you just put some Seche Restore in there and you roll it around in the bottle and it rehydrates it. Or, not rehydrates it, that's the wrong thing. Or, it revamps the formula. There we go. Um, so anyway, I got to this one far too late. I do have two or three more bottles of it, so I'm not too sad. But I did use that one quite a bit. Um, this bottle of China Glaze. This was a mini that I got. It just kind of, you know, laid sideways and, um, let's see, leaked out a little bit. And I used some, but it also dried out a bit. So that one's a goner. I just hate the way this one smells. This is the um, Revlon Perfumery Autumn Spice. It is a really pretty color. Even with a top coat on it, no matter what you do, the smell of this is so overwhelming. It just gave me a horrific headache. And I don't want to pass it on to someone else and they could experience the same thing. So I'm just over that one. Uh, the Mariness Power Lift hand and body balm. I used this up. I held on to this for a while because I just have so many lotions and I started using it and I was like, oh my god. It smells like oranges. Like one of the best smelling lotions I have ever, ever used. Thank you so much, Hannah, for this. It was so nice. Uh, it was anti-aging, hydrating, firming. I loved this. This was so good. Then I used the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Lucian. This was just sort of a sample size that I got. I enjoyed that as well. Not nearly as much as the Mariness one. Um, I have this Olive Lips, Olive and Rosemary Lip Balm. I got this in a bag. I gave it a good shot trying to use it. It smells like Olive and Rosemary. Like I don't want cooking spices on my lips. So that just was, I just, I couldn't use it. I couldn't. Um, next up is this Well People Expressionist Mascara. I just found some like, you know, old mascaras that I started using and then just kind of ignored. Um, so this Well People one. 
Um, I have this LA Colors colored mascara that I got in purple. I never really found a good use for it, so it was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I got this Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. I use this for a good bit. I wasn't a big fan. It, like, got under my eyes. Like, it would, you know what I mean, flick out. There we go. Um, the Blink Mascara. Stop painting your lashes. Tube them. This is an original one that I got in a birch box, and I was like, how do I still have this? Anyway, it's still moist. Um, this thing is, like, old. So, I mean, there's no way I'm going to use this. Not only that, but I did not like the tubing mascara formula. I don't like how it went on my lashes. I don't like getting it off. I don't like anything about it. Sorry, Blink. Um, then there was a Stila highlighter. This is the All Over Shimmer Liquid. It just kind of dried out. I did use a fair amount of it. I was into the, like, I would put it on my finger and then dab it on for my highlighter. And then sometimes I'd put a powder on over it. But um, what was left actually just ended up, you know, drying out. So there's that. Um, I have a Juice Beauty Organic Lip Gloss. And again, this is an organic lip gloss that I got in a bag of some sort. It's separating funky. It smells really bad. I would never put that on my lips. So it's just gone off. I was never really very into it. Um, I had two of these Physician Formula uh, sexy Booster Gloss Stains is really what they were. I had the red one and the hot pink one. They've just gone old and gone bad. Um, I Again, the red one I used much more than I used the pink one. Um, and my friend Carrie, she totally got into these and she loved these and she stole my red one and then bought me another one and then I used a whole bunch of that red one too. So um, it's just time for those to go. Uh, Elf. Studio Makeup Remover Cleansing Claws. These are the exfoliating ones. These only come with 10 sheets in a bag instead of 20 like the regular ones. I just don't like them as much as the regular ones. The regular ones are my jam. Those, mm. um, I finished using up this Physician's Formula Sexy Booster Va Va Voom Mascara in black. Um, I've had several of these. This one just got dried out after I used it, so... Um, this one was a gift. Thank you very much. Um, the Cover Girl Clump Crusher Mascara. I was just talking about this in a recent video. It just dried out. Like, it didn't dry out so quickly. It just went off so quickly. It smelled so bad. I ordered this online through Ulta. It just smells like paint. Like, it just smells really heavily chemically, and that happened really, really quickly. I don't know what the deal is, I did really love how this looked on my eyelashes though, like, ugh, this was really nice. It doesn't even, the, I'm using right now the Super Sizer by CoverGirl with fibers. Oh, these are actually both CoverGirl mascaras. Anyway, um, so I'm trying this one out and this one's really wet right now and kind of clumps my lashes together and doesn't like volumize them as much as this Clump Crusher did. So I would absolutely buy this again, but probably not online because I bought this from Ulta online. I would probably go to Ulta, buy it in store just so I make sure like hopefully it's fresher. I don't know. Um, I got some cotton rounds. So this is just the Target cotton rounds. This was a hundred pack. I have another Target cotton rounds and this was a 30 pack. Uh, my dog had an ear infection. So I use them regularly like to take off eye make makeup and nail polish, but I also use them uh, with Biscuit's ear cleaner to clean his ears out. So um, yeah, poor little thing had an ear infection. So I had a, a lot of those that I used. Um, the Now Bay Natural Organic Hydro Plus Cream. Again, a lotion, use that on up. Uh, the Jose Mara and Coconut Water Cheek Gel A. I just didn't use this up and it kind of dried down and it is funky. So um, I was like, ugh, time to pass that on to the trash can. Um, this is another thing I didn't use up. It just kind of dried out. It is the Fantasy Makers Wet n Wild Glitter Eyeliner. I bought this to use for like Halloween-y stuff. Um, and it's just really dried down and blah. Um... Then I bought, or no, I got this in a bag, and I really love this. And I know, Lena, I know you love this too. This is the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Color Pencil. Um, Chella, hello beautiful eyes. We got this in a box. I used the whole darn thing. It is the most perfect eyebrow color 
for me at least and again I know for my friend Lena it worked out really really well too um, and I think she tried to order it but it's like ridiculous to order just one eyebrow pencil and these are like 16 18 dollars it was really good though I would consider buying this like it had just the right amount of thickness and great color great formula Ugh. I really liked it. Um, I have this Tarte Eternal Lip Surgeons Matte Lip Cream. It's just like something has gone off and terribly wrong with this. It like looks wrong too. Like it's just wrong. Like all kinds of wrong. I don't like the formula on it, but something like not right with that lip crayon. Um. Peter Lamas Naturals Detoxifying Facial Cleans Cleanser. So this was a facial cleanser I used in the shower. This has just expired. This is the Hang 10 50 Classics SPF Sunblock. Um, I used this Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. This was just a little sampley one. It's okay. Um, I used, uh, maybe th there could be more than one of these in here. I don't know. This ba this bag is so full. I really hope you have a drink or a snack. Anyway, this is the, like, super expensive facial moisturizer that my friend Miley gave me. This is the Amore Pacific Future Defense Age Defense Cream Hand Cultivated Green Tea and Matsutake Mushroom, along with exclusive botanical complexes. It's great. I won't pay $100 for it. I used up the Soft Soap Body Butter Strawberry Smoother. There's like watery little bits in the bottom. Um, thank you, Miley. That was a gift. She sent me so much like body wash and stuff. I've, like, I'm trying to use it up, but holy crap. Um, this is a 30 pack of Goody Ouchless Hair Ties. They just disappear. You all know what I mean. They just disappear. Um, so this is a pack for my... Uh, makeup remover cleansing cloths from e.l.f. and here is another one used up a tin of the Goldwell OxyCore Platin lightening powder um, I do my friends hair I highlight my own hair so yeah I go through bleach this is powdered bleach is what that is you can only get the Goldwell at the like professional beauty supply store uh, Crest 3D White Brilliance Toothpaste, tube of that, love that. Um, Pure Silk Dry Skin Therapy Shaving Lotion, would absolutely buy both of those again. And, well, I think I have. I mean, I definitely have toothpaste right now. I'm using one that I got set in a box, which is the Colgate Optic White or something, which I don't like that as much. Tastes funny. Uh, Alba Botanica Berry Emollient body lotion maximum <coughs> so this is like 20 to 22 dollars a bottle sometimes it'll be on sale at target for like 18 dollars a bottle and i'm all about that life but um anyway when it's not it sucks but this is um 32 ounces of lotion it does last me a good long while i might need like three or four of these in a year um i decided this time to try a different one i tried the coconut organic water or something like that it's in a big bottle like this it has a pump I don't like it nearly as much I don't like the smell of it it just kind of sits on top of your skin like you have to keep rubbing and rubbing like the white lotion doesn't want to sink in Ugh, I wouldn't buy that one again I'm I'm really missing that one but I have like you know another 26 ounces to go of the other one so there's that uh, nature made well adult gummy multivitamins for her this is the 150 one and I bought more, and I'm getting close to finishing that bottle, too. Oh, man. So much stuff in here. This is the Tacoa... Oh, jeez. Tacoa perfume. I just didn't like it. Trash. Um, this is the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I use these. These are the two that you just, like, put under your eyes. They were okie dokie. I don't feel like any of them really do that much for me. I'm like horrible. Uh, Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter. Used that on up. Didn't think it was worth it. Oh, this is my one true love. I just so love this stuff. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. And I have like a tiny tube of it. And I'm just like saving that. <laughs> it, it makes my skin look and feel so good. It gets all the crap out of your pores. 
I've never encountered anything that does as good of a job as that ex exfoliate does. Um, Smile Brilliant Professional Teeth Whitening Gel. It's been a little bit since I've done this. I need to really do it again. Whiten those twofers on up. Um, this is the desensitizing gel. Use that too. Um, okay, we're getting. Oh, here's a missing hair tie. Um, Beauty Blender Liquid Cleanser. Um, I don't really like the liquid cleanser. The solid cleanser, fantastic. It removes all of the gunk out of my Beauty Blender almost every single time that I use it. It's not perfect, but almost every single time I use it, it gets it all out. But anyway, Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant. I was using this for several months. I was up here on my main stand recently. Um, it just, it went off. There's a tiny bit of it left, but it started being like dry and spidery clumps on my lashes. So I didn't like that. While it was good, it was good, and I did like it. Um, I have the New Me Finishing Serum. I actually went to go use this the other day, and it has dried the heck out. I'm like, how does a serum dry out? Like, it's a, an oil. Like, what the hell? It's like paste. I was like so confused. Like, how did this happen? Uh, anyway, so I did use some of it, and I remembered that I liked it, and I took it out of a box, and I was like, oh yeah, I want to use that again. Nope, can't use it. It's gone. I finished a chapstick! This is the Blistex Medicated Mint. I love mint chapstick. Um, there it is. It is twisted all the way up. I am not digging into it, and the tube itself is like thrash from just getting tossed around in purses and stuff like that. So that one is gone. And of course, my love, the e.l.f. HD um, High Definition Concealer. And this one is in Fair. And I can't remember if this is the one that I looked, took the stopper out of or whatever. Um, anyway, you can see to the bottom, used that sucker on up. All right. Okay, I've been filming for 18 minutes now. I'm obviously going to edit it down a little bit as much as I can. I know I've been rambling. Um, hopefully that was it for my trash. Leave me a comment down below if you have an empties that you would like to share with me. I'd love to go and watch those and kind of hear your reviews on them. Um, and also, if you don't have an empties, leave me a comment down below if you love any of the empties that I love or if you love any of the empties that I don't love. Uh, anyway, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button so we can hang out some more. If you are already subscribed, thank you so, 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 so much. I love you. Um, if you want to come and say hi to me on Twitter, Instagram, I will have that link down below. I love saying hi to you guys elsewhere. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a beautiful day as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!